in this crazy market that we're in, where it is a seller's market, if you will, what's your favorite methods right now that's working for you to find these sellers that will sell to you on lease option? What's your favorite marketing methods? So there's a couple, Jay. Uh, I will look at for sell by owner and for rent by owners. Keep in mind a for rent by owner, guys, um, a true for rent by owner falls into one or two categories. They're, they're either an accidental landlord or they're an investor. Either way, I want to I want to talk to them. I can help them, right? Um, uh, an accidental landlord is somebody that used that rented the house out as Plan B, and now they're now they're accidental landlord. Landlord. They didn't mean to be a landlord, but now they are. I can help them. So for sell by owner, for rent by owner, you can get these lists from uh, there's different sources, Jay, like Scraping Solutions. You can go to My Plus Leads. Uh, uh, get get these lists as well. And you can send them uh, text messages because they're already out there marketing their property. They are looking for calls. So for sale by owner, for rent by owner, uh, you can use My Plus Leads or Scraping Solutions. Uh, you can use Facebook Marketplace. That's free. You can just go to Facebook Marketplace and uh, you know and send messages through that to people that are selling their houses. One, one of my favorite methodologies, Jay, is something I've done for a long time and kind of mastered, which is direct mail to houses on the MLS. Now I'm not an agent. Um, uh, so I can do that because I'm not an agent, but I can send direct mail to listed houses that are aged, you know, over 30, over 60, over 90, even because the longer they're on the, the longer they're on the market, the more desperate they become. So I send direct, very specific direct mail pieces to these sellers. What would you say is your average assignment fee that you earn on a transaction? It's it's gone up over the years as prices go up, but right now it's about sixteen to eighteen thousand. Um, Very nice. Yeah, so it, it varies. Like, yeah. And so it's like you're like you're you're and how long are you how long are you in the deal? I mean, like from start to finish, typically. It, so the time that we from the time we get a contract to the time that we assign it is ballpark is forty five days. Got you. How do you deal with getting the home shown to a potential buyer? And you got the sellers still living in that home. Yeah, um, we do it at midnight and surprise them. Ah! <laughs> no, it's that's super easy. So if the seller is in the house, which by the way, guys, this is the easy one of the easiest things you can do virtually is, is to do lease options. But if, if the seller is in the house, that's great. I say, hey, listen, uh, I'll let the owner know, listen, we're going to be showing the property, but Unlike an agent, uh, we're only going to be showing it maybe four or five times, if that, because one of the first people that see it, they're going to jump on it. Uh, so that's number one. Two, when we have people that are that we filtered through and call up, you're kind of pre-qualified, they want to see the house. I'm going to call you, Mr. Seller, and see what works for you to show the house because I want you here. Unlike an agent where they go, hey, I'm around the corner. Can you get out of the house? Right now, I'm like, no, I want you there to help to, to show the property with me. Why? Because nobody knows more about that house than that seller. I don't know when this was replaced and that. I don't care. I'm there to talk lease options, baby. Here's their program. Here's how it works. Here's how the numbers work, Mr. Buyer. Boom. Do I have a question about the house? What? What do you know? Here's the seller, you know? Awesome. So so your, your, uh, pr your preference is actually for the potential buyer to meet the seller. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Gotcha. Because, then, because then keep in mind, this buyer is going to be living there for 10, you know, they're going to be working with the seller for 10 or 12 months, making payments. I want them to meet if at all possible and build that relationship that can actually help seal the deal for you as the investor. When the buyer and seller meet each other and they realize the commonalities and they build that relationship. Now the seller wants this buyer to have it, right? And now so, with the lease option, I'm sorry, go ahead. Anyway, so it just helps to have the, have a meet for sure.